Hey everybody, welcome back to Exploring Temecula. Today's video, we're going to dive into the Inland Empire housing market. I'm going to give you statistics on what is actually going on as a whole. Uh, I know I do mostly do Temecula market updates, but I have clients all over the Inland Empire in Orange County. So I thought it would be important to show an overall picture of what is actually going on month to month in the Inland Empire. Uh, you know, with in regards to home prices, you know, days on market and show you graphs so you have a good understanding of where the housing market is going. Um, you can look at trends in the housing market. We can see if, you know, the housing market has gone up, down, flattened out. So those are the type of things that I will be showing you in this video. Uh, if you are interested in Temecula, the surrounding area, or just monthly updates on the housing industry in the Inland Empire, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Uh, we, you know, consistently do two or three videos a week, and uh, we just enjoy helping people and keeping people up to date on what's going on. We also have home searches now. If you are looking for a home, we have a free home search in the description. And bonus, if you are looking for a home value, we are licensed not only as a brokerage, but we are also uh, licensed as a, uh, an appraisal company. Click on the link in the description and we will give you a free accurate home value. Um, so thank you very much and let's get into the video. Okay guys, so here we are. Uh, this information is coming straight from the local MLS. I chose Riverside County. I never really stipulate in between single family, condos, bedrooms, bathrooms, just because I wanna give everybody just an overall view of what is going on with the housing market in Riverside County. Uh, I went back the max years. Uh, usually I keep it at three, but I wanted to show you something. Um, since I've been in real estate, it's been a long time now, but I've over the past several years, it's always been a supply issue in Southern California, as long as I can remember. Um, and of course, that's what a lot of people talk about. You know, one of the reasons home prices keep rising right now is that there are there's nothing on the market to sell uh, for you know what the demand is. But the trend really has not changed. Uh, you know, since 2012, if you can see the only the the big dips are obviously December, but everything from 2012 is pretty similar. So, uh, you know, is the supply issue the main driving force? Uh, I would say no, um, but it's definitely there. Uh, but it's been there for many many years. So if somebody's telling you that you know, the big reason or the only reason that home prices are going up is because of the supply. It's obviously a little more than that. Um, now we're gonna go back to three years and we're gonna go to active listings. And this paints a really clear pic picture, um, you know, and here's, the, here's what I'm trying to get at. Active listings right now as of April 2021, 4,678. Um, you know, when you go back two years, look at the difference, almost 12,000 difference. So what is this telling me or you right now? Basically, that things are not staying on the market. If something goes on the market as active, it is selling very fast. Um, you know, again, just want to just point this out. In December of 2018, there were 16,910 active listings. As of right now, there are 4,678. People are buying everything that comes on the market. It doesn't matter where it is, how much it is, um, you know, how much over asking. If the seller wants a three month, month rent back, you know, it doesn't matter. People are buying these homes. Okay, so next, this is a big one as well that I wanted to point out, days on the market. We, you know, even from March, we are down two days. On average in Riverside County, a house is staying on the market only for nine days. Now, people need to understand that this is probably an exaggeration of how long the house is actually re active. Reason being, an agent puts a home on the market on a Wednesday. 
Many times they don't choose an offer regardless of whether they get a cash offer $50,000 over on Friday, Saturday or Sunday. They meet with the seller Monday or Tuesday, put it into escrow and don't change it on the MLS till you know Tuesday of the following week. So in a lot of cases, these homes are could really be selling at one, two, th even three days. It's just staying active on the MLS because the agent, the listing agent, is meeting with the seller after the weekend. So nine days, this is absolutely crazy. You know, the you know, back in January of 2019, the average was 46. So we have gone, you know, within basically a year and a half from 46 down to nine days on average in the market. So you know you're writing your ticket i've said this before you know many times if you're a seller right now you are you, you know you decide what the terms are you decide whether you fix anything you decide whether you pay termite it's all in your hands finally sales price and of course three years i just want to show you you know really when it started to balloon you know january 2020 look at the gains and i'll go back five years Look at the gains we've made from January 2020 to April 2021. Just in the last month, on average, uh, $5,000. Um, basically, since January of 2021, the average price in uh, the Inland Empire or Riverside County has gone from uh, $458,000 to 490,000 in that short period of time. Uh, pretty crazy out there. So what can you take from this? Uh, you know, I already mentioned if you're a seller, just do whatever you want to do. Um, you know, you it's your ticket, you name it. If you're a buyer, uh, you really, really need to find an aggressive agent and you really need to find an agent. Just a few tips for you. Uh, if you're house hunting, your agent should be making a phone call uh, to every listing agent that you want to make an offer on. They should figure out or they need to figure out where they need to be or where you need to be in regards to an offer to be competitive. None of this texting, emailing the agent, it doesn't get it done. I can tell you with my listings, uh, the agents that stick out the most are the ones that uh, call me and almost uh, you know straight up ask me where they need to be even though I personally do not like that conversation even though it's you know you're not even really supposed to talk numbers you can get enough information a lot of the time again to make you competitive as a buyer you need to be aggressive you need to be seeing homes if something comes on the market you need to see it within two or three days or it's going to be gone there's things that you need to take into your own hands to be successful in this market. Uh, over the last month, I've, I've got three people in escrow. Um, you know, so uh, that's honestly three people in escrow. It's a, in this market. I, if you don't understand, it's, it's literally insane, impossible to get buyers. But you know what? I'm aggressive. I call the agents. I figure out where we need to be. I, I'm upfront with my buyers. I tell them what they need to do, how they need to be successful, how they need to be stronger buyers, and we go for it. Um, so anyway, those are the two things uh, you know in regards to selling, buying right now. Hopefully these videos help you. Hopefully these trends, this graph, you know, you being able to see this uh, really does give you an idea of what's going on in the market, what is going to happen in the market, gives you trends like I mentioned in the intro. Uh, make sure you subscribe. Thank you very much and we will talk soon.